what is up basketball nation welcome back to another video thunder fan down under here and yes yes i know i'm wearing a labron la bron jersey i'm a fan of basketball not just oklahoma so i've got like i've got like a bunch of jerseys a bunch of different teams so um don't expect me to be wearing oklahoma all the damn time Anyway, let's get on to the video and this video is all about who i think won free agency now a lot of people are like saying oh yeah la but no no. Now, see, I don't think they actually did. I honestly think, like, um, in this video, it's going to be probably another quick one, another short one. I like to have short videos. Makes it easier to get my message across. Instead of you guys just sitting there thinking, shit, this is boring. Anyway, let's get back on track. This video is all about who I believe won free agency. And, yes, the Lakers definitely did. Um, definitely done well in, in the uh, off-season. But my money has to be on... A sleeping team in the Bulls. The Bulls have definitely, definitely done something right. Because they've just put together a sneaky East team that could potentially take down the Nets. They could take down the Bucks. Um, they're going to definitely um, show great defense because Lonzo is a good defender. Um, and DeMar DeRozan, he's played a lot of point forward, now slipping into that lineup. Um, I can see him playing a great small forward role for that team. It's going to be definitely interesting. Patrick Williams is going to um, definitely develop into the power forward role that's needed to be done. Lonzo is going to distribute the ball perfectly, perfectly fine for them. The only problem is I um, their bench, really. But it's not even that bad of a bench. Like You've got Alex Caruso coming off, uh, backing up Lonzo. And then you got, uh, then you got um, Kobe White coming in for Zach Levine. Troy Brown Jr. is also doing well. They just need to figure out a way to f uh, for their bigs. I'm pretty sure they're talking to Ken Birch at the moment. He's not an amazing player, but he can be a player that can come off your bench and give you rebounds and be the man that you need him to be. As you as you already know, the Lakers have just um, just signed Dwight Howard. They've got. Camelo Anthony coming in, Wayne Ellington, uh, Trevor Ariza, um, and a few, a few more actually. I think like Kent Bazemore. Anyway, they've they are, Malik Monk, I believe, is signing contract with them too. So they've got their they've got the old and they've got the young. So it's a good mixture, more old, but that's all right. They're actually very talented players. Um, they've also fixed up their problem with what I was saying a while ago, saying how they've got no one to shoot the three. They've just brought in some players that can actually hit that three. So that should be also another another win for them. So that's the two big heads right there, the two main teams that have come out with the best results. The, I'd say the best teams that won free agency. Um, and coming in third, I would have to say, it's probably Miami Heat. Like, I know it's, they're, not, they're not massive. It's not a huge thing, but... Picking up Kyle Lowry to fill in that one spot, bringing back Duncan Robinson, who I must praise to say that is the that's the highest undrafted player's contract ever, I believe. Um, so how about that? That's not bad for you, Dunk. Um, and yeah, so I believe that's probably their best best little one there. Another sneaky one is the 76ers are probably going to play um, Joel Embiid at the power forward position if they're going to have Drummond come in because you're not going to have Drummond coming off the bench. That's a massive, massive setback if he's coming off the bench for his career. Because he's a he's a double-double machine. He can play the center role really well. Just put him as a starting center. Don't come don't make him come off the bench. Yeah. Anyway, so that's really all. I, it's just really quick. Um so yeah, my two winners is the Chicago Bulls. I reckon they're the best best uh, free agency winners in this one. LA Lakers definitely helped out in their situation. Um but yeah, they're still old. They're still old. Uh, and then you've got the Miami Heat and Philly um, sneaking in there as an honourable mention. Uh, so yeah, another quick video, five minutes long probably. Um, here's a quick plug. I do have Instagram and I've got Twitter. I'm going to put a link in the descriptions to that. It's just a Thunder fan down under. It's all about the off-season, all about Oklahoma. I hope you guys love it. If you did like this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and comment whatever you guys want to comment because I'm happy to reply to every single comment in the comment section. Anyway, have a good day, guys. I appreciate you all. Peace out.